What it's like having unseen disabilities part two. What it's like having an unseen disability part two. I already recorded this once and it just disappeared on me. Fun. So basically I was diagnosed with what's called POTS syndrome where I went to the hospital one day because I was feeling dizzy and I couldn't explain why. And my mom's like, I'm not playing around with this. We're going to the hospital. I get to the hospital and they tell me that they think that I'm dehydrated and they hook me up to an IV bag, which took probably about two hours to empty. Um, and I'm just going to tell you this now in the story that basically a saline solution is full of salt and water. I'm sure there's some other things in it, but a big majority of it is salt and water. And so they send me on my merry little way after I'm hydrated because I felt great after I had some salt crackers as well. And then I felt great the next day. And then I went back on the third day because I once again felt lightheaded. And the doctor tells me, well, we did everything we possibly could for you last time. We're not going to give you another IV drip. So what I'm going to do is send you to a heart specialist who might be able to diagnose you with what's called POT syndrome, which is what we think that you have. But as an emergency room, we cannot diagnose you. We can only give you an idea as to what is wrong. So I went back to the heart surgeon. I luckily got in within a week of my diagnosis, well, my unofficial diagnosis. And they told me that because I have POT syndrome, they couldn't officially diagnose me yet which was one of the most frustrating things in my entire life because I actually ended up missing almost two months of work because of my POTS syndrome. So they started me out for the first like week and a half on a salt tablet, which seemed to be working great for the first few days. But then about a week later, I ended up calling my doctor and I'm like, well, listen, this is not working for me. I need to get back to work. I just started this job. I don't want to get fired. So my doctor calls me in a blood pressure medication and tells me that I'm officially diagnosed as POT syndrome, but I can't be given a paper for until I was seen for my second appointment. So my doctor gives me my paper at this appointment that says I'm officially diagnosed as POT syndrome. And the problem with that is, is that for POT syndrome, it means I have low blood pressure and a salt deficiency. So because I have both a salt deficiency and I have low blood pressure, most people, when they wake up in the morning, their blood pressure is just a normal, stable blood pressure. Mine is consistently low. So when I try to get up, it makes me dizzy. And unlike most people who, if it was low in the morning, it would just regulate itself as the day goes on, mine does not. So unfortunately, I have to be on a blood pressure medication two times a day for the rest of my life, as well as salt tablets. So if you're having these symptoms, please do not be afraid to go to your local emergency room to get diagnosed as POTS syndrome through a local heart surgeon. I can't promise that you'll get in as soon as I did. I was very blessed to get in as soon as I did. But it was a very scary time in my life, and it's still a part of my day-to-day -day life. I'm going to have flare-ups for the rest of my life that are, I'm unable to know when it's going to happen, and it could be any day of the week, any time of the week, whenever it feels like flaring up. It's going to be a constant burden in my life for the rest of my life, unfortunately.